Do you still carol? I heard this morning in a meeting that you used to go caroling. Yeah, my parents used to uh, take us caroling, and I grew up back in Massachusetts, so if it snowed, I'd be on the back of a, of a sled, you know, uh, flexible flyers, I think they call them, and I, they'd pull me around. We'd all have candles and go door to door in our neighborhood and, and go caroling. Who's all? Fun. Your whole family? Yeah. Yeah. How many fun. people there? Uh, I have three older brothers. Okay. So the whole family, you'd... And, and neighbors. You know, a bunch of people from okay. the neighborhood would go out and carol. They actually caroled in our neighborhood a um, couple of days ago. That neighborhood is crazy. Some... I... Well, my wife, Nancy, gets really embarrassed by the carolers coming to the door because she doesn't know how to react. You know, you get to the door and they start singing and you have this face. It's, it's like a it's like caroler face. You're like... <laughs> ah, ah, and then, thank you, that was wonderful. And you give them appreciation, so they sing another song. Yeah. And you get, like, even worse caroler face, like, oh, no, what am I going to do now? Yeah, and you can't just go, thank you, and close the door. No, 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 you have to yeah. be very gracious. Yeah. It's like, you know, there are I went to a party in a neighbor's house a few years ago where there was a woman who insisted on singing solo Christmas carols at the party, and she didn't have a great voice, and she did what... <laughs> you would call uh, scooping a note. It's not, you don't hit the note at first, you kind of <laughs> get to it. Right. And she sang, I remember she sang, Oh Holy Night, and it went something like, Oh holy night, the stars are brightly shining. <laughs> and I was sweating bullets because <laughs> I empathize so deeply with people going through trauma. Uh -uh. And, <laughs> and I just, I knew that everyone there was just waiting for her to finish, and she was the only one who didn't know that. Uh, oh, no. And then she did, like, five more songs. And she scooped, fall on your knees. <laughs> pretty. You have a very pretty voice. When I scoop it. <laughs> This is such a creative movie, Welcome Tomorrow, and it, it is based on a true story. Yeah. Um, explain, it, it's just the way it's shot. I don't even understand, but explain what it is and how that you shot it. It was based on a documentary about a man named Mark Hogenkamp who uh, suffered a, a really traumatic uh, beating, uh, a hate crime. And as therapy, as a way of healing himself, he created this miniature town in his backyard and all the people in his world he put as alter egos within this town, himself included, as this swashbuckling World War II uh, captain. And, and so he was able to process a lot of what he was going through, all the pain and, and hurt, and, and he also, just physically, uh, keeping himself uh, more dexterous. So um, it's, a, it's a really interesting story, and Robert Zemeck was able to take this world and bring it into life, really. It's crazy that it's a true story, and, and the, the, I mean, the patience he had, and the detail, and what he did, and how he shot it, and what he, and then the character that you play, uh, and the, the character there, um, wears high heels. Mm -hmm. He's not gay, he just likes high heels. Right. And you had to wear high heels. I had to learn, yeah. Yeah, what is, what was that like? Um, it was so hard, I could not believe it. It was, it was, I think, the most difficult thing I've ever had to do for a movie. Really? Yeah, and that's not even a joke. I, they sent me boxes of heels at home, and I, months in advance, started, you know, on three-inch heels, and then I went to four or five, and I was walking around on stilettos eventually. And there's one thing just walking in them. It's another thing looking like you feel comfortable yes. in them. They really are... I don't know why women wear them. I don't understand it. It's, it's so uncomfortable. They're like, yeah. well, it elongates your legs. It's like, so what? Like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, all right, so... I did look great in them. You, because you, then I had the lycra on on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was picturing you in the lycra with those on, actually. I didn't want to bring it up again, but... Um, <laughs> and uh, so, welcome to Marwin, uh, Beautiful Boy. If you haven't seen Beautiful Boy, it, that's an amazing movie. <laughs> Steve's great. Um, I just saw Vice the other day. Vice is fantastic. You play Thanks. Rumsfeld. Yeah. And uh, did you know much about that story before? Uh, not to the degree that I eventually did. Another I mean, true story. I think story. a lot of people don't know that no, story. No, that's a crazy true story. Yeah. Yeah, you have to see Vice. It's, it's, uh, and I didn't think I would like a political film because I don't really like political films or I don't like to get into all that. But it's a great, and, and it's, it's scary, but good. Yeah. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things like Ball Peen Hammer. 
and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God! God!